24940. So there was there was ten maps. Now, if you look at the ten maps, there's really three of them that are different, and and, and, and of those three, there's just small variations. For example, um, you might have map number one has a little bit of Maple Lake Township in one, and then two Maple Lake Township is all together, or something like that. So there's just small deviations. So there's really of the ten maps, there's really just kind of three differences, so to speak, without with some minor changes in there. And I can, I got a couple sets of these ten maps too. I can pass them around if people are interested in looking at them. But so those were the ten options that we had. Now there was talk about seven commissioners, and someone created one of those maps. That person might even be in the room. I'm not sure, but yeah, you're probably. Yeah, right. okay. Yeah. It, was, it was submitted anonymously, but okay, I, we were right. <laughs> so there was there was a map of seven because. If, if, if you're over 100, if a county is over 100,000 in population, you can have seven commissioners. That's state law. Uh, you don't have to have seven. Uh, Washington's got 300,000 people. They got five commissioners. Um, and, Stern, and the citizens can petition for that to happen too, and make it go on the ballot. Okay, that, that may be that may or may not be true. I'm not disputing it, but, it's true. but, but by, by county board vote, we could have created seven now, exactly. but, but we, we, we didn't. Telling all the options there, because okay. you're doing a very good job so far, Pat. So cool. But, but uh, so <laughs> as we spec speculated, uh, Leander created a map with seven. Now, they're, they're, I have a couple of problems with it. The main problem I have is that um, the variance is pretty substantial. It's it can be as much as 23% below and then like 14% above. So the variance is much more than 10%. Um, there, there's no counties our size that actually have seven commissioners. Um, having seven commissioners is going to cost the taxpayers another hundred to $150,000. Um, you, you know, uh, so I, I guess there, there was no one on, there was nobody on the board that ultimately with, with all the different reasons in line of uh, it, it being way more than 10% plus and minus, the additional cost, um, those sorts of things. There, the fact that no, no counties that are our size have went to seven. I think the closest one that went to seven our size is St. Louis County. They have, we have 125,000 people. St. Louis has 200,000. Yeah. But let me tell you something else about St. Louis. It's about, it's about eight times as big as us probably, you know. So, from from a geographic standpoint, there. But 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 even at seven commissioners in St. Louis, their commissioners are representing more more people per commissioner than, than we are with our five here in Wright County. And like you say, their their land mass is much greater. So, um, but but that was an option as well, and we could have looked at that. It, it was possibly up for challenge because of the discrepancy. And if anybody has any questions after the meeting, I'll stick around and explain. Okay. Uh, Leander, this is Leander's baby, he'll he'll defend this after the meeting. Because <laughs> I'm not gonna defend it. The county attorney uh, said it was doable. But the county attorney did say that he felt we could legally do it. He yes. did say that. Um, he felt we could legally do it. Um, but like I said, no, no one on the board, for, for various reasons, um, felt that going to seven was a good idea. So ultimately what happened is, so then we had the 10 different options that you've seen out there. And this morning we had a debate on those 10 options yeah. and we, we've come up with the map that I got in my hand and I'll pass it out in just a minute. And I'm not sure how many I have. I got some good ones on front and on the back. I don't have a color copier at my desk. I've got a black and white and I actually got like four of them on the back. They're just ones that I like colored in with a pencil. So there's probably either 20 or 25 good color ones and like four kind of like handmade ones that I made, but they're all accurate, but I'll pass them around. But this is what we came up with this morning and it passed on a three to two vote. Um, the, the gist of the debate this morning, uh, Commissioner Thielen was very um, strongly pushing for one of the plans in the option seven through 10. Now the option number eight, number eight in particular, okay, and this option eight. And Commissioner Thielen lives in Clearwater, and and she was hoping to retain a rural district, and and I think also probably not be in my district as well, quite honestly, because her and I and some of the plans are in the same district. So I think she wanted to obtain a a rural district 
And, and like I say, probably part of the thing was not being placed in the same district with me, which some of them show. Um, so she was pushing very hard for this particular plan right here. Well, she was, yeah. Um, it was kind of the lake. She would have been the only one in that. She would have been, yes, yes, yeah. Um, it, her arguments were um, it, it keeps the western rural area together. It's a lake, it's a rural lake area. Um, and that, um, you know, some, some of those types of arguments. Commissioner Matson and uh, Commissioner Matson was kind of pitching this district. Commissioner Matson was in Marysville and he's, off, he's, he's represented a rural area for a number of years. He wanted to maintain a rural district. He wanted to keep representing a rural district. Uh, Commissioner Eichelberg was kind of advocating on this one as well. Which the, number is that? Uh, this is number five. Commissioner Eichelberg was advocating for, for number five as well. And I think uh, some of Commissioner Eichelberg's thoughts were that he felt that eight had the area over here, the population already up against the upper limit and that with the growth over there, that will that district will continue to be larger and larger than the other ones, which kind of weakens your voting power as, as a, you know the one person one vote theory. That was one of Commissioner Eichelberg's concerns. Uh, ultimately, Commissioner Russick seemed to uh, to side with uh, with Matson and Eichelberg on this particular district. Um, uh, he, he he talked about the Highway 12 corridor. And how that, you know, how the Highway 12 was kind of a planning corridor for the county, and that it had that agricultural interest that was comparable, and that that this was the uh, a more sensible district. And I think he was agreeable to Eichelberg's concerned about the this side of the county maybe being up against the limits right off the bat. So, uh, you know, I was kind of a, I'll be honest with you, I, I was kind, I was quiet in the meeting today, and I. There was two options for where my own particular district was, and you, know, you look at these things, and quite frankly, like I said in the meeting today, when I first seen the numbers, I kind of drew up some maps at home, and, and I and I seen trouble at the end of the process because you can just tell if um, no matter how you do it, there's going to be somebody that ain't happy, and it's going to take me long to realize we we're going to be there. Um, I th and I mentioned this in the meeting, and I found it quite ironic. Uh, plan two and four. Plan two and four. If you look at one man or one, excuse me, one, one man, one vote. I think it's what the they said in the courts many years ago. And of course, we're more correct now. We we recognize that uh, women are equal voters. One person, one vote. So uh, one person, one vote. If if you look at that concept, as far as having equal numbers in each one, option two and four were the most equal. And and I was kind of, I mentioned to me today. I said, you know, I'm a little bit surprised. Two and four are the, are the most equal, and yet. We got a whole bunch of people in this room, and everyone either says they want five or eight. Nobody wants two or four, so I was a little bit surprised by that. I, I think I thought that was probably the most important principle. And if somebody would have made a motion for two or four, I probably would have voted along with that one. Um, but at any rate, uh, the, the vote uh, the, the vote on the on the one that we came up with was five, and that passed on a three to two vote. So. With Commissioner Eichelberg, Commissioner Matson, and Commissioner Russick voting in support of it, uh, myself and Commissioner Rose voting against it. Although I can tell you, I'm, I'm per personally, I'm fine with this district. I think there was some good rationale. I, I think you could make arguments, some arguments for Commissioner Thielen, but again, probably, in my opinion, probably the best arguments for for the one that was closest in population, which would have been the two or the four. But. Uh, Well, there, there, there's some. There's certainly a, one could make an argument here that this is not uh, compact. That's where I. One, one could say it's not compact. I think if you. I think if you look, I, I thought I thought one through four was more compact than the other ones. Quite yes. honestly, exactly. They were not. They were more compact and, and closer. Easier and, for a commissioner to take care of the area. Yeah. And easy for the people to yeah. access their commission. They, they were more compact and, and, and closer in population, but. Um, but we had, uh, you know, in this whole public hearing process, I, we didn't have anybody coming in for the most part telling us they, they wanted one, two, three, or four. So I get, you know, I didn't want to, I wasn't going to die on my sword for something that not a single person from the public was out there clamoring for. So, but, um, so we ended up with, with option five in, in the end. Uh, 
Which, which I think is I think is okay. I think it's an okay option. Like I say, I think there was yes. Who is the strongest advocate for five? Uh, I would say this. Well, Matson. Matson. <laughs> Matt, yeah, yeah. And, and, I, and I don't know. Was he doing the most talking, or was Zach doing more talking? I, I think. I mean, Dick felt strongly about it. I don't know if he was making as much of the argument. Very good speech about taking this highway call for you know. Matt, Matt, well, Matt's and Russ again, I go Berg. I, I, you know, I think the three of them equally, probably. <laughs> and like I say, I, I, uh, I think it's a, I think it's a good plan. I, I voted against it, not because I thought it was a bad plan. Like I say, I, I kind of fell back on second and four were a little more contiguous and, 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 and a little closer in population, but, um, and, and also as I mentioned earlier, I was fairly quiet in today's meeting because I could see early on that there was, there was two maps that were going to the forefront. And, um, and and there wasn't any support in the room from the public. The, the, the public that was there was substantially for the seven through ten. Now, you, you know, but and, and, there, and there's a partly there's a reason that Commissioner Thielen had had um, had had reached out to some of her communities and, and supporters and, and and asked them to come and you know I think speak on her behalf. And, and there's nothing wrong with that. You know, there, I mean that's there, there's nothing wrong with doing that. But I, I think probably, you know, sometimes you need to be careful if there's 10 people in a room telling you something, if, you, you know, you got to think in your mind, okay, is this, is this really consistent with what the overall population wants, or did they come, you know, you know what I mean? So, but, um, so today there was, I'd say probably about 75% of people that spoke were for the 7 through 10 plan, and maybe about 25% were for the number five, the number five plan. And as I, as I mentioned, um, no, nobody spoke in favor of one, two, three, and four, which were most compact and most close in in, in our population size. So, so we've got uh, we, we've got the maps. Did I pass them all yet? I haven't passed them all yet, have I? So, so here they are. We got about 25 of them there. If you're if you're here with a spouse, maybe you want to share, and otherwise we it might be close enough. But so so that's the map we got, and, and that's the process we used in. Rick. Uh, Pat, how many people were there? At the meeting today, um, in the public? Uh, less than 22? Year. Less than year. 22? Less than year. Yeah, less than year. Less than year. 22? 22. 22. You know, in, you know, there were staff people in there. Maybe, maybe interested citizens. I don't know. 17, 18. I don't know. There was, maybe, there was, maybe there was 8, 10, 7, 8 staff people and 18 citizens. Maybe 8 citizens spoke. Eight, maybe maybe about eight citizens spoke, and maybe six talked in favor of uh, seven through ten, and two in favor of five, perhaps. Pat, Pat, I think I think uh, when I, I didn't speak, the final one, yeah. I didn't speak at this one, but I spoke at the other one, and I said either the three or the other, but seven. Well, I got your. I said, I said either is all right. Mary says one or seven. One or seven are more compatible. I got your notes here, and I, I didn't pass this one out because I got notes on it. I said one or seven. Doug Burke liked option five and at that meeting. And so, but, but that, that was like at the very first meeting, I think, or one of the first ones. But, yeah, yeah. I don't think I was like the same one. Because I'm just going to say, 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 I'm so now, now where the process is, th this map has been approved, and there's probably like a short, um, th there's probably like a short 10-day window for, for somebody to appeal it. I, I, I think we're on pretty solid footing, and if somebody were to appeal, I think they would um, they'd not be successful. But it doesn't mean somebody couldn't. And then on May 22nd through June 5th is the filing period for county seat for, for county board spots, just like legislative spots and those sorts of things. So, um, so. Well, okay, um, myself and Commissioner Thielen are in what is now District 2 on there, and that, that is uh, Monticello, Clearwater, St. Michael, Maple Lake. It's two, it's two. That one's two. Mm -hmm. 